Van Wilgen's Garden Center and ready to get creative with you. Once again, we're gonna work with our gorgeous succulents. We have this beautiful Cinderella pumpkin. Cut it out really easy, scooped out the insides. And now, why not? Let's plant in it. First, we're gonna use our cactus mix. Perfect for succulents. I'm gonna fill our Cinderella pumpkin with our cactus and succulent mix. Nice and light, perfect weight for succulents that do not like to have really wet feet, do not need, need a lot of water. Really, really easy to care for. And let's have some fun with this. This could be a beautiful centerpiece. It could go on a coffee table. It could go uh, on a table in an entryway. That actually would be a perfect spot for this for me. I have this beautiful white entryway piece that this orange pumpkin would look so nice on. Okay, first we're gonna take one of our gorgeous succulents. This one has a little bit of red in it, which I love. This could be a little bit delicate with succulent roots, but you don't have to be too, too careful. Let's really kind of push it in here. Okay, then, oh, look at this. This is really neat. This is called an Earth Star succulent. I just love the look of that. Really different. Let's try that in our pumpkin. That might look really cool hanging over the edge. And you know, don't be afraid to fill this pumpkin up with succulents. Really, we have so many different varieties here. Pick and choose what you like. There are so many different colors, so many different shapes of succulents. Pick the ones that appeal to you, that fit the color scheme of your house. You know, what we wanna say here is that you can decorate so beautifully with house plants. House plants really make a house a home. They're really good for you health-wise. They provide oxygen, they provide beauty, and it's so much fun to create with them. Never be afraid to play with succulents. Here, I think I need a little bit more soil over here. You're gonna get a little dirty, that's okay. Don't worry about that, a little dirt never hurt anybody. Let's see, I need to add a little bit of my succulent mix here just so these succulents sit up high enough in this lovely Cinderella pumpkin. Let's add this nice blue one in. You're gonna see a lot of the soil is gonna fall away from it. That's okay. Succulents don't really have big root systems and that's all they need. They don't need a lot to survive. Very, very easy. You water them, not often at all. You know, maybe once every two weeks you'll need to water these. You need to make sure that the soil feels dry before you water your succulents again. It always needs to feel dry. Can we tuck in this really big one in the back? Let's try it. Let's see what it looks like. Hey, and remember, if you don't like what you did the first time, move it, change it. Don't be afraid to play. Let's see if we can stick this one back in here. I think that we can make that fit. You know what, so now we're starting to fill our pumpkin with beautiful succulents, but hey, let's get creative. Let's throw in an air plant. This is Tillandsia. This will look really beautiful hanging over the side. And if you want, you could add a little bit of moss if you like that. Maybe this kind of more citrusy green sphagnum moss. You could tuck that into little parts in here. And then you can create a beautiful centerpiece for yourself. If you want, my gosh, you could add little picks in here. If you wanted to add a little pick that has a fall leaf on it, go ahead, do that. Feel free to do whatever you want. It's your home, it's your plant, it's your pumpkin. Have fun with it. And don't be afraid to really pack your pumpkin full of plants. I mean, even if you want to add an annual in, if you want to add in our gorgeous pansies, they won't last forever inside, but they certainly would last long enough for a holiday event. And look at that, very simple. We created something gorgeous using succulents, a Cinderella pumpkin, so easy, very little water. Let's have fun with it.